Hello, 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 birdies. Welcome to your reading. So this is going to be no contact, uh, limited contact stuff, separation kind of reading. I'm not sure. I kind of feel called to do this. Actually, I, I don't even know what is going to happen. I guess we're going to go with the flow. Let me raise this a little bit to make sure we have space for everything that wants to happen. But essentially, we're going to take a look at what is going on there, okay? We are going to look at your person side. We're actually going to look at both sides. So take with whichever side resonates more with you. And uh, yeah, we're going to pull some messages from the person in question and some timing and stuff. Let's just go with the flow and see where we go. So let's see what we have here. Let's pull some romance angels to start this off. So we do have deception. I feel like someone here wasn't sharing their truest feelings. And honestly, I kind of feel like that person regrets that a little bit now. There could have also been something a little bit toxic. I'm hearing control. So maybe there was some, some type of control. It doesn't have to be um, control in the sense of like controlling one another. It could have just been like trying to control the situation and trying to make it happen in a very specific way and not allowing things to unfold naturally, I feel. We also have this could be the one. So I guess this situation here is not over, especially because you have holy Cacholi. So we have engagement. Your love life is sending to a higher level of commitment. And we also have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So uh, for some of you, this could actually be a twin flame relationship because this true love is my twin flame card. Um, but I definitely feel like this is a strong ass connection. I even feel like this was like right person, wrong time possibly life successes. This deception could have also been like other people getting in the way of the connection and not necessarily like you guys. But I do feel like it was also uh, like this separation. I feel like it's needed for you both to grow, especially with this. You deserve love. I feel like one, if not both of you were a little bit mad at love, I feel. And it's like you wanted it. I feel like you wanted it. I feel like you were really hopeful for it but I feel like you were in some way sabotaging it. So it could be through that thing of control. It could be through that thing of like a third party getting in the way and you listening to those people. I don't think it was a third party in the sense of cheating or a romantic third party. I feel like it was career. It was um, immaturity, other people like family or friends getting in the way. I do feel like it was that type of third party. I honestly don't see, don't see here like a romantic third party. And I just, I, I just feel like this was really needed for you to focus on each other, on yourselves individually, you know? And I feel like that is, that could be kind of almost over. I, will, I, don't, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> so let's, we'll hear some tarot and see what we have. So we are going to look here at person A first and see what is their current energy. What is the current energy here for person A? And then we're going to use a different deck for person D. Uh, P, uh, what? Okay. <laughs> for person B, and I said D and P. So maybe person B here, uh, their name could actually, uh, their initials could be D, could be P. Um, that could be something. But um, I'm also hearing let it be from Beatles. So they could really like Beatles or something. Or that song in particular could be uh, significant. But let's see here. What is person A um, current energy? So we have Dawn. Um, especially with this four of, of ones here. I feel like person A, whether it is you or this person, I feel like person A is really like making changes in their life. They're like not taking any more BS. I really feel like they're creating some sort of foundation here, either in their career or in just, I feel like it's their life overall. I feel like routines are getting better. Um, old habits. I'm also hearing health. So maybe they're, they're going through some sort of diet or um, just like maybe recalibration, you know, especially we just left Mercury retrograde. And maybe this, this whole Mercury retrograde was a lot about revisiting stuff, realignment and repurposing, you know, replanning. I feel like there was a lot of planning to take action to their most beautiful, authentic life. And I feel like that is where they are right now, is they're really making the changes, the necessary changes to make that happen. 
um, in all aspects of life, I really feel. I also feel like they could be releasing some sort of connection here. So again, if the person A was the person with uh, friends or family getting in the way, I feel like that is coming to an end and they're no longer uh, connecting with those people or at least not listening to them. It could also be around career where they are no longer letting other people control them and telling them what they are capable of or not capable of doing. And I feel like they are really getting into this place of freedom and authenticity and just connecting with their most uh, with their most authentic self and with their best version yet. I feel like they feel like they are not balanced. I feel like they feel that they are not in this four of ones place. I actually feel like they're pretty damn, they're much closer than what they think they are. Much, much closer. And I feel like it just, it, it's just a matter of them keeping fighting and them keeping doing what they are doing because I really feel like they are doing great. I also feel like they are going through some sort of like inner child healing. Um, so that could be like them being more creative, um, them spending a little bit more time like on hobbies that they used to uh, do as a child, something like that. Spending more time with pets, that is also something that I'm hearing. They could also be spending more time with their mother or their mother is significant. Again, maybe their mother was the, the person that was kind of getting in the way. I actually feel like this mother, um, I actually don't think that the mother is the person that is getting in the way. I actually feel like their mother could actually be like supporting the connection and could actually be like, oh, so when are you, you and person B kind of getting back together? And that is really sweet. I feel like their mother is really sweet actually, but it could be like another family member that they are cutting off, maybe a sibling um, or I'm hearing sister. Um, I'm also hearing father. So maybe um, they're cutting off those people. But I do feel like their mother was really sweet and really like, I believe in this connection. I believe in it. This is gonna happen, you know? Um, I feel like, I really I really like this person's mother. Um, and yeah, so let's see what is, what is this person's feelings towards this connection. We have the seven of pentacles with the spider webs here. It's, I do feel like this person feels a little bit left out in the cold. I almost feel like there's this thing of acceptance. It's like, well, this is so far back, or even if it's not far back, I feel like they just, they're just like, okay, well, whatever, you know? I do feel like it hurts them. I do feel like they don't like being in this place of not knowing what is going on with the connection, of um, like not knowing where the connection is going to lead, if this is going to be in, reunion or if they should just let it go i kind of feel like they're they're in this place where they're i feel like they're trying not to think about this i really feel like they're trying to put this relationship behind them i don't think that they are doing a very good job at it <laughs> to be quite honest because i feel like the memories are haunting them and and then there's like this feeling of the five of pentacles of feeling alone and yeah look at that queen of cups wanted to show up oh my goodness wow look at that ace of wands ace of cups sun and queen of cups so by the way we do have leo energy we also have virgo so person a could be could even be like a leo virgo um cusp we also have some water here uh pisces cancer scorpio but queen of cups that is a ton of love and i feel like that is what's making it hard i even feel like this person could have gone through this period where they were like, no, I don't feel anything at all for person B. Like that is so behind me. I don't even care about them anymore. I kind of feel like that is not true. <laughs> I kind of feel like person A, um, I feel like that was a coping mechanism. I feel like they could have been a little bit in denial of their feelings or not just, just not aware of how bad they were missing this person and how bad they, um, we're hurting, actually. Uh, I do feel like there's a lot of like missing. I miss you, you know? And, and with this uh, Knight of Wands showing up here, it's almost like for some time, they could have thought that the, what they missed was the sex. What they um, loved about person B was the sex and nothing else. It's just physical attraction, nothing else. But I kind of feel like that is taking a turn here because they're like, oh shit maybe it's a little deeper than what I thought, you know? And I kind of feel like they really want a new beginning here, Ace of Wands and Ace of Cups. And in the past, they could have actually come forward with a little bit of, not necessarily a player energy, but it's almost like their passion and their attraction towards person B was really intense to the point that they were ignoring the feelings that were developing. 
not on purpose. I don't think that they were doing that on purpose, but it's like they would, just like they were kind of ignoring this and, and saying that all they missed was the sex. Um, I feel like they were kind of, when you were kind of together, um, I feel like this person was like, well, yeah, I, I do like person B, but it's like no big deal. We're just having a lot of fun. Um, and I feel like now they look back and they're like, oh, well, maybe, maybe there was something there, you know? And so now I feel like person A kind of wants a new beginning. This time, however, they're actually ready to open up their hearts and to open up um, 100%. Also, with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups, it's like, I'm ready. Either this, this is tomorrow or this is in a month, this is in a year, I'm ready. Whenever this is meant to happen, I'm ready. Um, and honestly, I kind of feel like they are. I do feel like they are. Um, however, I don't really see them taking any action towards this, but yeah. I do feel like they have a lot of fun with person B. And I feel like their memories of person B is just like so much love and so much joy. I feel like it's impossible for them to hold any negative memories for person B. It's just like a lot of admiration as well. Um, and maybe that wasn't always that way, you know, especially with this thing of like um, the acceptance that they are now, I feel like it could actually be something um, recent. Um, and in the past, especially when they were in denial, maybe they were like, oh yeah, if this is a sex, I mean, this would never work. This was happening and that was happening. It's like, nothing is really going to kind of develop from this and everything, da 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 da. And now I feel like they're, um, they're ready. <laughs> I feel like now they're really acknowledging the intensity of this connection and the potential of it with this could be the one. And I feel like that's also why they got into this place of acceptance. It's like, I know my feelings. I know what I see in this connection. I know the potential of it. So, you know, if this is meant to be, it's going to happen. And I really feel like they're just letting go to the universe um, and just like continue with their life and balancing their life. So let's see here, what is this person's intention? So person A intentions towards person B. We have two of wands, yeah, a new chapter. And it's almost like um, there's this energy of like clean up, especially with this dusk. It's like anything that, that wasn't working, let's just clean it up and start fresh, yeah. Ace of Swords. I do feel like this person could have some regrets, a lot of pain um, here. Because it's like, um, I feel like maybe this person was blaming person B a lot. And I feel like now you could have actually been blaming each other a lot, I feel. Um, that is a message that is coming through, is that maybe, uh, maybe we're kind of mirroring each other. And whatever you were saying that this person didn't do, whatever they were saying that you weren't doing, it was like, it was just mirroring each other that you kind of need to work on individually. And that's why I feel like this separation is so important is because you triggered each other, now you heal, and then you can go back and actually make the relationship work, you know? But getting back to person B, to person A, uh, I feel like they were blaming this person a lot. And I feel like now they are understanding. Like from person A, I just get like a lot of awareness, a lot of, also trusting themselves because I do feel like they spent, they had this moment where they were kind of confused of like, if it is just sex that I'm missing from this person, then why are they so strong in my mind, in my heart? And why do I feel all, all of this? And I feel like that is when things really started to kind of develop. And now I feel like they are really, really aware of everything. And I feel like they are also aware of how they might have hurt this person um, and the things that they could have maybe avoid it, the things that they could have said differently. And I feel like they are gaining responsibility. They're accepting the, their, their side of the responsibility, you know? Um, I, I also feel like they are aware of what this person um, didn't do or did. And they're like, yo, you have to take responsibility for what you did. And I'll take responsibility for what I did. But their intentions is to really open up a new door. Their intentions is to really, more than opening up a new, a new door, I feel like they are just in this cleanup point of like, it doesn't matter where things go. Like before we can even decide where things go, we have to understand 
um, what happened in the past. We have to talk about the past. We have to clean that up. We have to do things differently, and we have to figure out what didn't work and how we can do things differently. Um, so I, feel, I really feel like that is person's a, um, person A's intentions. And I mean, we already saw all that love and all that passion as well. And I, I really feel like person A thinks a lot about person B. Um, I feel like they are trying not to think too much about it, but um, I feel like it's a little bit impossible for them to do that. However, because they're in this place of acceptance, I feel like, one, they are open to not getting to reconciliation. That's why I feel like their um, intention right now is to talk, to clean up things, to close the door. And then it's like, the new door can only open if both of you want. And I feel like this person is like, well, if person B doesn't want to open a door, that is okay. Then I will be able to move forward. Um, but I, again, I feel like it's the not knowing if person B wants to open the new door or not, that is kind of killing them a little bit inside. But yeah, well, so, before we get into like next actions and all the other jazz, let's actually go back a little bit into person B. So let's see, come here. Ah. Okay, this is actually a little bit of a hard deck to shuffle. Let's see. So what is, uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, I, I did say that thing of like, this is a little bit of a hard deck to shuffle and the universe was immediately uh, giving the, the emphasis on hard. So if this is a masculine, if this person resonates as a masculine, then I definitely feel like person B thinks a lot about person A and um, well, things can get a little bit hard over there. Okay, okay. So with that out of the way, let's see here, what is person B current in, um, energy? And we have the Two of Pentacles. We also have, wow, the King of Cups. A lot, a lot of love here. Um, and it's interesting, this is like divine counterpart because we had the Queen of Cups on person's A side and now we have the Queen, the King of Cups. So this person could actually be a water sign, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and it doesn't have to be. But I definitely feel like they are healing some stuff, possibly from childhood, from family, and they're really moving forward towards um, a better place, a lot of peace. Like this uh, King of Swords, it's really meditating and we also have the Hermit here. Um, like th there's a lot of peace. They could be meditating a lot and connecting with their guides. I feel like they're opening up to their truest essence, to their truest authenticity and to their truest, um, most peaceful point. I feel like peace is really the energy that they are striving for, you know? Um, I kind of feel like at work things may not be 100% easy. I don't think it's in the sense of like a lot of people kind of, I don't know, bad people or toxic people, annoying coworkers or something like that. I do feel like there is a lot of work and a lot of responsibility, but I feel like it's kind of managing the responsibility and all the work with their personal life. So I feel like a little bit like person A, they're kind of cleaning up their life and sorting out their priorities and how they want to move things forward. Um, we also have Virgo here in air energy, so Aquarius Pisces, um, well, <laughs> I did say Aquarius Pisces, so maybe it's an Aquarius Pisces cusp, uh, but that was the second part of the explanation. Aquarius Libra Gemini or um, an air water cusp, so Aquarius Pisces, Libra Scorpio or Gemini Cancer, but I definitely feel like this person is really aligning with their highest self. And when it comes to the connection, we are going to take a look at how they feel, but when it comes to the connection, I feel like they're, they're trying to figure out how exactly they wanna move things forward. Uh, not in a sense of like, is it worth it? I feel like it's in the sense of, is it healthy? Is it safe for this to happen? Because with this 10 of Pentacles, I do feel like they see a future here um, with person A. I feel like person B really sees something long-term something stable and solid. I feel like they see a family, like there's all these generations. And I would even say that um, they would see person A has like an amazing parent, grandparent, a parent, and also has a, a, a child. 
Um, I feel like they also really admire the relationship that they have with their parents, with the, that person A has with their parents, possibly especially a lot with, the, um, with their mother, right? Because we have that energy there. Um, maybe person B, if they already met the person A's mother, um, they really like um, their mother. And maybe it's even something that they envy a little bit. Not a, like not like a bad envy. It's just like maybe they, they don't have the best relationship with their mother or they don't have the best relationship with their parents or family or something like that. And that is something that they are healing most definitely. But it's like they see how good of a parent person A could be. And I feel like that is something that kind of makes them question of like, bro, but if I see that, if I see that potential in person A, then isn't it worth it? Isn't it worth it going towards it, making this work, you know? Um, and so I feel like they are kind of considering their options, trying to figure out um, what is happening here and how they want to move things forward. And I definitely feel like the month of February could be significant here. Um, oh, well, if they are in Aquarius Pisces, for example, it would be their birthday, so yeah. Happy birthday, Aquarius Pisces, in case you're watching this. <laughs> but let's see here. What are persons be feelings? towards person A. Oh, wow, yeah. So I feel like they are a little bit in denial. It's almost like um, a little bit where person A was just a few seconds ago, you know? Uh, it could have been like a matter of seconds. They were like, I don't really have any feelings for person B, and then boom, well, maybe I actually do. Um, and I feel like person B is still a little bit on the place of do I have the feelings? And it's like, bro, do you want a more obvious answer than the Ten of Cups? <laughs> it's like, I feel like their whole heart, I would even say that their whole family, their whole friends are like, what are you saying? Bro, this person, you're crazy about person A. You know, I, I feel like they're friends and everything. They're really saying like, yo, what are you doing? Why don't you go towards them? You know, because I, I feel like their families, um, th their family or uh, friends, I feel like they already see this could be the one energy between them. And I feel like that person, I feel like it is a person in particular, like person's a mother, <laughs> for example, is. It's like, bro, come on. Like, that could be the one. What are you, what are you waiting for, you know? So I feel like they could actually have someone kind of pushing them a little bit. And it's interesting because I would even feel like before there was someone pushing them away and now there's someone like pushing them together. Um, and it, it, this whole thing, this whole third party could actually be the universe, okay? Um, could actually be the universe like pushing you away because you needed to heal and now pushing you back together because you're ready. Uh, I kind of feel like this person may not be ready yet, but they could be in like a matter of two weeks or something. Um, I, I do feel like there is going to be something that is going to click for them and it's going to be like, yo, this is my person, you know, especially because I feel like they are healing. I also feel like they are healing um, issues around love. So they could have been manipulated. They could have been um, cheated on. I feel like they have some sort of heavy energy around love, around relationships, that is something that they need to heal before they can actually give person A um, what they deserve, right? You deserve love. And it's almost like I prefer to keep my distance and not give person A a thing right now. Um, and instead of like giving something that it's not what they truly deserve. So it's like if they find someone in the process, then great for them. Because I feel like they really um, have strong care for person A and they are like, I just really want person A to be good. I just really want for them to find someone that can give them what I can't, you know? Um, they could, I'm, I'm getting to this, um, I, I'm, I like, I'm getting this message of this song called Chicken Tendies. Um, <laughs> it's nothing to do with Chicken Tendies. I absolutely love this guy's uh, titles of the songs. Um, but, or, or that one in particular, but it's uh, Clinton Kane, I would say, and I really feel like there's a little bit of that energy that person B is um, feeling. They could talk to you a lot about music, um, or music could be significant here, you could talk a lot to each other through music, and 
um, that could actually be one of the songs that person B is sending to person A, um, which is like somewhere along the line, he says like, I hope someone can give you what you deserve. And there's also this thing of like, if you want me back, just say it because I'll come back, uh, running back to you, something like that. And I feel like there's a little bit of that energy, but I feel like they, they, it's almost like they're hoping that person A reaches out and that would kind of settle things. You know, I feel like they are a little bit confused about their feelings, but the, if like if person A was to reach out, I don't think that they would hesitate in saying like, hey, I miss you. Hey, I kind of, what, what is going on? <laughs> Can we have another chance, you know? I feel like they would be a little bit eager to get things back to on track. However, I feel like they don't feel ready for that. I feel like they feel like they still have a lot to heal and they still have a lot to figure out inside of them. And they still have a lot to figure out about their own beliefs around love and everything. Um, it is important to mention that we have a bunch of twos here, uh, especially on person B side. So two, two, two could be a significant number, significant synchronicity that you may see, um, especially when you think about this person. And I would even say that that actually means that they are thinking about you too. So uh, yeah, that is, that is something that is coming through. So let's actually take a look here at person B intentions towards person A. Well, we have a lot, but we're going to pull them, especially this Ten of, Cu Ten of Pentacles, because there we go. Person B's intentions with person A, it's family, long-term commitment. I really feel like they see like forever with person B, and especially here with the King of Cups and Queen of Pentacles, it's like you deserve the whole world, you know? It's like person A, I, I just want to give everything to person A, and I really feel like their intention is to really take care of person A and really like... Um, smother them <laughs> with cuddles, smother them with um, love, with gifts, with um, kisses. <laughs> I'm hearing kisses. And just like, I feel like they, that's the thing. I, I would even say that this person says that they are not ready, but they are actually much, much readier than they tell themselves that they are. A little bit like person A is saying that they are not in a good spot yet and they're actually much closer to achieving their goals than what they actually are aware of. Um, and it, it's just like their intentions is really in a pure place. Persons, per, person B just wants to love person A with all their heart. And maybe that was something difficult for them to do in the past, but it's just like, bro, let me love you. <laughs> it's like, bro, what are you waiting for? Just come over here and let me smother you. <laughs> Uh, I, I really feel like they are really kind and I also feel like they have person A in really high consideration and again there's that thing of like I, I want nothing but the best for you so uh, I really feel like they are in this place of like if I'm the one you choose great if I'm not then I really hope you are happy because you deserve the world um, you deserve the world times two in a single Sunday afternoon that is that is the lyrics of the chicken tendies uh, song and I really feel like that is how they feel about you. And that is their intentions towards you. It's just like, they wanna give you so much. And it's really interesting. I mean, it's, it's, it's different decks, of course, but um, the whole Harmony Tarot, it is very light. Um, but I mean, there are darker colors, like the, for example, these two, right? But the, the cards that showed up for person A, it's a lot of light. And the colors that showed up for person B, a lot of like dark colors. And so I would even say that this person is, first of all, this is a beautiful balance, right? That divine feminine, divine masculine, doesn't matter the gender, um, divine feminine, divine masculine energy of um, where a person A would be divine feminine and person B, I would feel like they are divine masculine and they just really mash together and they really like, um, like just bond. <laughs> they just kind of intertwine. And I feel like that is what really helps them um, so yeah, for some of you, this is actually twin flame, but it really like helps them to become better people and to kind of connect with, for example, for person A, it would help them to connect with the more dark, darkish side of them. And for person B, it would help, person A would help them to connect with the lighter side of them. And um, so I would even say that, for example, person A could be like a hopeless optimistic and person B could actually be a little bit of a pessimistic um, or realistic or something like that. 
but I really feel like person A is really hopeful and I feel like they are full of dreams. Not that person B is not, but I feel like person A is more, um, I feel like they believe more. Person B, I feel like because they, I feel like they are more realistic about stuff, I feel like they sometimes may tend to hold back. But anyways, <laughs> I feel like the, all of this thing, just to say that um, I really feel like they balance each other really well. And it's almost like you are working on your, um, or person A is working on their light and person B is working on their shadow work, is working on healing, right? I also feel like person A could be more around like day-to-day -day stuff, routines and, and that kind of things, like 3D stuff. And person B could actually be on like bigger stuff, like ancestral healing and that kind of, of, of things. And um, more like spiritual things, okay? So yeah, so let's take a look here at person B actions or next actions towards person A. What are persons B next actions, please? Ooh. Okay, so we have nine of wands, page of cups, these two wanted to come out too. Page of pentacles and the tower, which we kind of love. And we have, yo, yeah. Um, so true love for me is my twin flame card. And I asked the universe, like, whenever it is a twin flame reading for them to show me 10 of cups and the four of wands together. And there we go. <laughs> so I, I really feel like for most of you, this could be a twin flame. However, it doesn't have to be because twin flames are pretty rare. Um, but yeah, so let me actually put all these cards here. And let's see here for our person's A. Ooh, woo, woo, okay. Hello lovers. <laughs> let's see. What are persons A? Let's see if there's anything else that wants to come out because that was pretty quick. Persons A next actions towards person B. Anything else? Anything else for person A next actions? All right, yeah, okay. We can deal with that. <laughs> Um, ooh, come here. All right. We do have the Eight of Cups, though. That is very interesting. I kind of feel like person A, I feel like they're going to be a little bit in the... I guess all or nothing kind of vibe. Where I feel like person B is not ready for all or nothing. I feel like person B is ready for... Give me another chance, please. <laughs> kind of, kind of thing. You know, um... Because like with person A, we have the lovers, the six of pentacles and the nine of swords. I do feel like person's A next action is going to rely a lot on their intuition, especially with this book. Um, I feel like they're going to be journaling a lot, reflecting a lot. Again, it's that cleanup that we saw before, right? That is their intentions right now. And I feel like that is going to be their next actions. Like, can we clean this up? I feel like their, their next action is also very internal. Because I feel like even right now, they could be fearing the relationship a little bit. And in their next actions, they could still be fearing it a little bit. And I feel like it's more related with the past. I feel like person A is still a little bit hold, uh, holding on to the past and being like, um, I don't know, just really focused on what didn't work and focusing on the things that need improvement and everything. And I feel like person B, it's more around like, let's just forget about the past 100%. And fuck it, let's let's start over, you know, because I really feel like that is how they are coming through in their next actions. But for person A, I feel like a lot of things are going to shift internally in the sense of, well, yes and no. I feel like the fears, they're going to gain awareness of the fears. And I even feel like the choice that they're going to do is not necessarily related with person B or with person B's um, next actions. I feel like it's about their fears. It's related with making a decision of letting the fear get in the way and walking away from this connection altogether. Um, I'm also hearing that they could eventually meet someone new. And so it's almost like, because they have the Seven of Cups here as well. So it's almost like they have to, yeah, Five of Wands here with inner conflict. I feel like they have options. It's almost like they have to choose between two people. Uh, so that could be showing up for person A. And... Um, so it's either like walking away or am I going to face my fears and actually making this work? Because I feel like a part of them that is still a little bit insecure 
is like, is the past going to repeat itself? If it happened in the past, how do I know that it's not going to repeat in the future? And I feel like it, the longer you hold on to the past, the longer you're going to not see the potential of this connection. The longer you're going to not see the changes that have been going on in person A and the, the changes that have been going on in person B, you know? And I feel like that is something to, to kind of keep in mind and to journal. It's like, what, do you, what is your heart telling you? If you are person A, what is your heart telling you that the potential could be of this connection? What were the things that actually did work out? What were the things that were telling you that were, or, that were already giving you a hint on the future? Not on the future of this whole situation, of the no contact situation right now, or the separation situation right now. Um, the little things that were showing you that this could actually be the one. What were the little things that were showing you that? You know, how is this person loving you um, even though they, they may have not said it, even though they may have been a little bit insecure in showing you that. But were they showing you that? Wouldn't it be possible if they kind of change things up a little bit and start giving you what you actually deserve, that they, that they start to give you all that they couldn't in the past? Isn't it possible? And I feel like it's a matter of you starting to shift your mindset a little bit. I feel like you already had, because again, I feel like you were in denial a little bit and you were kind of like, oh no, I have no feelings. So I feel like you already have changed a little bit in your perspective around this connection. But, um, and you started to acknowledge the dimension of this connection. But I feel like you're going to be faced here if you're person A, I feel like you're going to be faced here with a decision, either between two people, this person or another person, or just going with your fears or saying to the fears and just going towards this person and starting to build something new. You don't have to go towards it like ultra fast. I don't think that that would work actually um, because I feel like you are going to be need time to kind of get acquaintance with each other's energies again. Um, and I feel like you would have to go through this period where the fears, I feel like the fears would show up I feel like the insecurities would show up. And so it would be nice for you to take things slowly for you to be able to deal with each insecurity as it shows up and for you to be able to talk about it and for you to be able to reflect on it. Um, I would even say it's very, very likely that this is the person that approaches you. Um, that person B approaches person A, that is what I mean. And um, when person B approaches person A, I feel like there's a little bit of, oh my God, what do I do now? You know, a little bit of, oh my God, uh, what do I do? I don't know what to do. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And I feel like you do. I feel like you already do. I would even say that it would be interesting if you journal, like we have this book here on the Six of Pentacles and I feel like that is really relevant for person A. Um, so if you do journal, I feel like it would be interesting if you would go back to previous logs, especially when you knew this person, especially when you were together um, or when you met them, stuff like that, the feelings that you were feeling, what were you writing about when that happened? And this time, there could have been a little bit of rose-colored glasses, a little bit, I'm not saying that they weren't, but I feel like they were true, honest feelings. I feel like they were true, honest actions there. They were true, honest events that happened with a lot of love, with a lot of pure intention because I don't even feel like you ever ever at any point had any type of bad intention towards one another especially with that deception I feel like it's not about being deceptive um, being manipulative not consciously if that happened it was not consciously um, I feel like the deception happened by you both thinking that this connection was not uh, was like smaller than it actually was and I feel like you both did that. I don't think it was just one person. I feel like you both did that. Okay, so when it comes to person three next actions, we have the nine of wands, page of cups, page of pentacles, and the tower. I feel like this person may show up. Um, and it's interesting because we have the tower, which is like, boom. And then we have pages, which is like, 
uh, it's almost like they, they, they give this whole speech of like, I love you and I don't care if you like it or not, I don't care if you want this or not, I'm gonna fight for us. And then they end up with, okay, <laughs> please. <laughs> you know, it's almost like they, they just get into the moment, they just get into the flow. They may even like text you or something with like a really long text. And at the end of it, they're like, um, well, I'm not sure if I should have done that, <laughs> you know? Um, and one thing that is good to mention is that I feel like that is going to truly be genuine and that message could actually lead to something uh, where that call, that conversation, I feel, I feel like it could actually be the beginning of something really significant for this because Mercury just went direct. And even though it's still in its shadow period, um, I mean, it's in the shower period as I'm recording this and possibly when I'm uploading this, I'm not sure when that is going to happen, but um, until this person reaches out, it could be in, in like nine days or something. But when this person reaches out, even if Mercury is still in its shadow period, it's already going direct. So there's not this thing of, because when people come back from the past in Mercury retrograde, or when you know someone, um, when someone approaches you, when you make deals, when you sign contracts, it could not be very good because you may not be mm, that good, that healthy, you know? Um, and because Mercury going direct is a lot about miscommunication and sometimes even lies, I would say. And this is happening outside of Mercury retrograde. So every single word that this person says, that this person writes, it's on it. It's everything that they say it, they mean it, okay? And I do feel like they may show in this energy of a page, but it is just, I feel like it, it's just because they're so freaking scared. I feel like they are so freaking scared of you saying no. They are so freaking scared of you rejecting them, you know? Um, and I definitely feel like there's a little bit of that energy. But I definitely feel like, and I also feel like there's another thing. Like with the nine of wands, I feel like they're going to put everything out there. But I feel like there is going to be a little thing that they may not say just so um, they could have something to hold on to just so they don't make a fool of themselves. So it could even be like um, that whole speech that I was saying, they may not say, I love you. It's like, they may say, you know, I really care about you. I really like our connection. I really um, like what we were building. And I feel like we have a future together. Da -da 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 -da. They say that whole thing. They may not say, I love you. And I feel like that is their sort of, um, I don't know, what they are kind of holding on to so they can be safe, you know? Uh, so I feel like they're not going to put their whole heart out there, but pretty much all of it, you know? And I feel like they're really being honest. And I definitely feel like, I feel like whatever they have to say, they have been holding on to it for a very long time and they just need to say it. You know, I feel like they have been really uh, holding on to that truth and wanting to tell you, to, to tell, person A that. Um, I, I kind of feel like most of you watching that you could be person A, but I definitely feel like, um, yeah, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I definitely feel like there's, like, this person has been holding on to this truth for a very long time, and they were really like, I just need to say it, it's now or never. You know, they may even see um, person A, especially if they're already, like, connecting with someone, or if someone shows up, they could feel it, or they could see something on social media or something like that, that person A posts, that kind of triggers that message or something, okay? It could also be a thing of the moment. I was reminding um, of like that thing, I was remembering that thing of like February and that for some person B could actually be uh, an Aquarius Pisces. And um, I was actually thinking that if it is their, their birthday and you, you kind of, for example, person A kind of sends them a happy birthday or something. And I feel like person B could be like, oh my God, they remembered, they remembered. Maybe this is the sign. You know what? I'm just gonna, it, it's this moment, it's now an hour, <laughs> you know? And I also feel like that is why they're, they're kind of holding back a little bit. It's just like, you know, it's my birthday. So in case this person rejects me, it's like, well, let's not say the three words just so we don't make a fool of, out of ourselves. You know, we still have something to kind of say, oh, phew, good thing I didn't say it. You know, there's something like that. So uh, what do I want to do next? I kind of want to see where this relationship is going. Like what is next in this connection? Um, I'm not sure how I want to do that though. Let's actually, let's pull one card for each deck. 
because that way it would symbolize <laughs> the union of the connections of the energies of the two people. So let's see here. What do we have for like, what is the next step of the connection? What is happening next in the connection? We do have the Seven of Cups Lighthouse with a Five of Wands here. And we do have here I do feel like person A is going to have some sort of decision to make here. Ace of Wands, nice. Anything else? Wow. Honestly, I feel like... I know this is like what is next in the connection it doesn't have to necessarily be like person A, person B, but I do feel like person B, they may come up really shy. They may not be like 100% like room with everything, but I do feel like they're all in. They may not, it may not seem that way, uh, especially because like you, you probably, if you are person A, you could be expecting this person to say, I love you. They don't, um, but it's like, they are all in. There is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful opportunity for a new beginning here. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. And we also have the Queen of uh, Cups here. Lots of love, lots of stability with the King of Pentacles. I do feel like this person is doing um, very well financially because uh, we have like 10 of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. That is really good. Um, but this person is like, person B is all in, okay? I, I also feel like if this was an issue of immaturity, no more of that, honey. Okay, so person B is really all in. I feel like person A is really, really confused on how to move forward. But I do feel like it's because they're thinking too much. Okay, five of wands. This is about inner conflict. It's about you listening to two voices in your head and not knowing which one to follow. And I feel like if you follow your heart, you're really going to be led to this place of maybe this is something we can work out. Okay, it's again, it's that thing. Am I going to follow the fear or am I going to um, kind of push through? I do feel like there is the possibility for this connection to kind of push through and create something really beautiful and solid. Uh, person A did have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Um, and I feel like this person is not, it's not a thing. I feel like person A is ready to say, I love you. Person B is ready to show love. Okay, with the Ace of Pentacles, with the Queen of Cups there, Queen, uh, Queen of Cups and the King of Pentacles. It's like person B, I feel like they are ready to show love, not to say love, to to show love. Um, and they are ready to put in the work in this connection, bro. Eight of Pentacles. Person B, I really feel like person B is like on it. Um, person A with the Seven of Cups and the Lighthouse there, I feel like, um, yeah, <laughs> I feel like it's it's a little bit up to person A, right? Um, but I do feel like the confusion will pass. I feel like that is what's next in the connection. I feel like the confusion will pass and I feel like you'll both um, put in the effort in this. I feel like person B may need to, maybe they were the, one, the ones that were lacking a little bit of investment in the connection. Um, even though we do have the Six of Pentacles on person A, but I feel like whoever lacked a little bit of investment may need to put in the action to show that investment now. I would even say that you both may need to do that in different aspects. So maybe this person, person B, is about showing love Person A may be about like not overthinking, <laughs> I would say, uh, or letting the fears go, not letting the fears or insecurities get in the way. And I feel like you're going to show love through different ways, through different aspects, but I feel like there is a possibility for something really good and really beautiful here, okay? So before we get into messages and some timing and some advice, <laughs> let's see here. Um, what, what else do we have here? All right, there we go with true love again. Wow, wow, oh wow, oh my, okay. So we do have, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So there's that thing, it's like you're both going to receive love, I feel, um, and you're both going to have to show love, okay? Through different ways, through different actions, but you're, I feel like you're both going to have to do that for this connection to actually work and to, for it to develop, but it is, a, it is safe for you to do so, okay? We also have soulmate. Um, this is your soulmate. And religious factors. Your love life is influenced by religious upbringing and spiritual path. So I do feel like there's, I mean, this could be the one, right? <laughs> I do feel like there's this thing of 
um, not necessarily meant to be because I feel like people are part of your destiny. They don't have to be part of your future um, because we do still have free will, right? But if we're being honest here, I would even say, uh, I mean, if this is a twin flame relationship, it is very intense and I feel like it's like a, an ongoing thing of like triggers and healings. But I feel like the biggest hurdle, the biggest challenge of the connection has passed or you're currently going through it, you know? And I feel like that is why what I just said is important. I feel like you and this person are part of each other's destiny. You don't have to be part of each other's future. That is up to you to determine because the destiny part is fulfilled. The Saturn part of the lesson you needed to learn from one another, I feel like it's fulfilled. And now it's just a matter of, do you want to apply that lesson with each other or with other people, okay? And so I feel like that is the biggest decision that is coming forward in the future. It's like, what is it going to be? However, I do feel like just like person A's mom <laughs> and person B, a family member or friend or whatever, I feel like the universe is rooting for you too, you know? Um, <laughs> I really feel like this mom is so good. I really love them. It doesn't have to be a mom though. It could be like just a very significant female figure here, but I just feel like this person is so awesome. <laughs> I feel like they're like, yo, go, what are you doing? What are you waiting for? Um, Cause especially if it's like a mom, I feel like they just want person A to, to, to be happy, you know? And I feel like they could see happiness with person B. I would even, uh, um, the message that is coming through is that if person B met person A's mom, um, I feel like the mother was looking at you both and was looking at the way person B would look at person A, the way person A would look at person B, how you would talk to each other, how um, you would interact. And I would even say that she was reminded of her love. She was reminded of maybe person A's parents' relationship, you know, especially the beginning of like, of excitement, of love, of, of the honeymoon, right? But it, I feel like she saw something there that made her hope that, not hope, that made her hopeful that maybe person A found their person, you know? Um, I don't think, I don't think person A's mother ever said that, but I really feel like they saw that or she saw that. Um, and it's, I really feel like person A's mom is like number one fan <laughs> of this connection. And I feel like the universe it is, is as well. Okay. Um, I also feel like there could be like some ancestor or something um, or a past loved one that is um, supporting this connection as well. Maybe it's not a mother uh, or if it is a mother, maybe it's a mother that has passed away. Sorry for that. Um, but it could be like a, a significant female figure that has passed away. Um, sorry for that as well, not only for if it was a mother, but um, it could be a significant female figure that passed away and it's like supporting this connection. It's like uh, that female figure was like watching you both and, and it was like, ah, oh, yeah, universe, thank you for that. God, thank you for that, whatever you believe in, you know? And man, I just feel like, I, I feel like you're supported, okay? I feel like this connection is supported and I feel like it's not over. So let's pull here some messages. I actually, I wanna, oh my God, okay, Jesus. So I'm sorry and lust, <laughs> we're kind of like going off with each other here. So it's almost like, I'm sorry that I thought that this was only lust. I feel like that is a message from like one to each other because again, I feel like you were kind of, the feelings were kind of mutual there. I feel like you were both just thinking that this was nothing too big. Um, I feel like through this separation, you're kind of understanding that, well, maybe it's not, maybe it's something a little bit bigger, you know? But let's see here, messages from person A to person B. So we have, forgive me. What else do we have from person A to person B? We're actually going to pull from two decks. Ooh, all right. So we have, take the lead. I can look at you all day, all night, all the time. Let's tango, you melt me. Let's get one more because I'm a Virgo <laughs> and I like Porter. <laughs> Let's see here. Is there any other message from person A to person B? Oh, I want to hear your voice. 
that's sweet. So let's see here, what else do we have from this deck? From person A to person B, we have, I'm tired of this. Again, I'm tired of this. That's why I feel like they're just in this accepting place of like, you know, squared, whatever needs to happen will happen. Um, I'm ready for commitment. Yeah, they are. You deserve better. That's interesting because that was something that was showing up from person B to person A. Um, but we do have, I'm sorry for the way I treated you. I can see is getting married. Let's get one more. I have to go. Yeah. I do feel like they're um, living up to the universe. You know, they're kind of living up to, especially with that thing of like, take the lead. Um, it's like, you know, if, if they, they want me, they're gonna get me. You know, I feel like that, there's a little bit of that energy. I don't really see person A pursuing person B, to be quite honest. Um, it could start um, with that thing of like the birthday message if they are an Aquarius Pisces, uh, or just an Aquarius, or just, an Pis or just a Pisces, you know? But um, if they send that birthday message, they could be hopeful of like, oh, maybe something will kind of spark here. But I don't think that they truly have that intention. It's just like they really want to wish them the best. And, you know, if that's where he leaves, that's OK, you know. Um, but yeah, we also have here. I'm not sure how I feel about this, um, but I do feel like that confusion is a little bit over. But yeah, let's pull here some messages from person B to person A. What would person B would like to tell person A? Wow, starting with a bang. I'm so in love with you. And I like it. And I feel like before they didn't like it. That's why I feel like they were kind of in denial a little bit. I'm not ready. Damn. So yeah, I feel like person A is ready. Person B is not. Because again, I feel like they're still in this place of um, like confusion and trying to figure things out, trying to figure out how they want to move things forward. And yeah, but I do feel like this is a matter of like two weeks. I really feel like there's something here about number two. So I really feel like in two weeks, for some reason, I don't really get like it's two months, but it could be. Um, I feel like that would be resolved. Okay. So what else do we have from person B to person A? We, uh, uh, we have, you are enough. I even feel like there's this thing of like, I'm sorry if I ever made you feel like you weren't. Um, I'll wait for you. Um, and also there's that thing of like, you are enough and I really feel like you deserve better, right? And so like, I don't want to stop you from having the beautiful life that you deserve. But it's like, I'll wait for you. If you're ready, man, come get me. <laughs> Be patient. Yeah, I do feel like they need a little bit of time. Oh, I wanna make love to you. And I even wonder if you were already intimate to one another, with one another, um, well, maybe two, one another, who knows? <laughs> but uh, if you're already intimate, I would even wonder if that was pure sex. That, or maybe it was actually love, but you, you assumed it has sex. Maybe you saw that from one another. Maybe that was your intention at the time was like, even though you could have been in a connection and like commit a relationship, um, maybe the energy of it wasn't really of love. It was of, of, or of making love, you know? I feel like it was of sex, that's it, pleasure, that's it. And I feel like this person is getting into this point of like, no, I, I wanna make love to you. Not sex, I don't want sex, I want love, you know? So let's see here, um, I should have treated you better. It's like you're both saying the same thing to one another. That is so awesome. So let's see here. Will I ever be enough? Uh, you hurt me. I, I really feel like this person is a little bit insecure or not aware of what they can give to a relationship. Maybe in the past, that thing of like they're, they're healing from stuff from the past. Maybe in previous relationships, they um, their partner wouldn't make them feel enough or would criticize them a lot or something like that. So yeah. Uh, I'm always looking for an excuse. I remember everything. Let's get one more. Um, this scares the shit out of me. Yeah. 
Uh, we also have I'm not ready for commitment. So I really feel like person A, it's like, you know, whatever is happening needs to happen, but if it's to show up, I'm ready. Person B, which I feel like it's going to be the person to kind of initiate the whole thing, may still need a little bit of time. Again, that kind of two week time frame, two months tops. Um, but with this, I'm always looking for an excuse. I would even say that it's related with social media. They may post on their social media something like, uh, they may even gloat a little bit like, oh, I'm doing so great and everything. Um, I feel like it's just to get a reaction from you. Um, and also, they may post something, not necessarily with the intention of gloating, but it's just like they may post something that reminds them of, of um, you, of person A, and it is to kind of, um, to, to just see if you would say something, you know? I kind of feel like person A could be doing that a little bit too, but um, that is what's showing up. But I remember everything. I really feel like they, um, that thing that I was actually saying from person A, so again, you're kind of mirroring each other, might as well just look that one side. <laughs> but it, it's like, um, I really feel like they hold very near um, sweet, good memories, you know? No hard feelings from each side, I feel, um, from neither side. But yeah. So, what do we want to do now? We want to pull some advice before we pull some timing. So, for whoever is watching, let's see here. What is the advice here? What, these, what does the universe want um, who, my birdies to know, whoever is watching to know? Anything else? So yeah, like listen to your inner child. I was getting that thing of like uh, person A healing the inner child. So person B could be doing that as well. But anyways, I do feel like there's this thing of like, keep working on yourself, keep focusing on you. I feel like the opportunity is going to show up for you to communicate with one another. You don't have to force anything, okay? I really feel like there is going to be this thing that it's going to show up. Everything is going to be okay. Uh, we actually have that card, but we'll talk about it. You also have a look at your options. And it's like, for neither of you, whoever this is for, person A, person B. Person A is going to be faced with an option, so clearly look at your options. But I feel like with person B, I feel like you both need to kind of look at who do you want has a husband, has a wife? Who do you want to have kids with? Who do you want to um, have a future with? Not in terms of person, of name, in terms of qualities, of traits, of you know, what do you want? What do you want? And does this person align with that? And I feel like you're gonna have your answer there. But it's not about over-rationalizing it. It's about the feelings. What do you wanna feel with your future husband, future, future wife, you know? What do you wanna feel when you see your baby? How do you wanna look into the mother or the father of your baby? What is the face that you see? Now you can start going into specifics and be like, do you see this person's face holding your kid? You know, I feel like you may need to ask yourself some questions. Um, that is why this, be careful something is wrong here and uh, everything is gonna be okay is showing up as well. Because, and they did come together. Uh, Cause like the second this car fell out, this car fell out right afterward and it fell on top of it. Um, but it's like, there are things that need to be resolved in this connection. There are things that need to be discussed, but everything is gonna be okay. It has the potential to be okay. It has the potential to grow into something good, to grow into something long-term and serious and beautiful, okay? This could be the one, all right? But again, right now you're faced with choice, not with destiny. You're faced with choice. Destiny already had its play. You already met each other. Um, now it's choice, okay? And so I feel like it's you also understanding, listen to your inner child, right? It's also you understanding that you need to work on yourselves individually, okay? Heal whatever still needs healing. You deserve love. Working on that self-worth, working on your own toxic traits, your own toxic limiting beliefs, your own anxieties, insecurities, fears, healing with that, looking at yourself. It's not about, one good exercise is that 
maybe ask yourself, what do you criticize in this person? What do you think that this person is not doing or wasn't doing in the past? What do you think that this person is lacking? And how do you see that in yourself? Because again, I feel like, especially if you were twin flames, I feel like there is uh, a lot of mirroring happening in this connection. So whatever you, you criticize in them, whatever you feel like they lack, whatever they feel like, whatever you feel like they are not giving you, you are not giving them either. Or you're not giving to yourself, okay? So I feel like that would be a good exercise for you to do, especially for person with that, that whole journaling thing. Um, it's like, what are you criticizing them and how can you work on it in yourself? How are you doing that to yourself, okay? Trust your spirit guides of the universe because they are your number one fan and wake up and go now. Whenever, here's the thing. Your heart is going to give you an answer. Your intuition is going to give you an answer, okay? Your mind, however, is going to give you another answer. Whenever you get yourself into this place of while you're journaling, while you're meditating, while you're doing whatever it is, um, I would even say that for person A it would be more about journaling, for person B it would be more about meditation. Uh, whenever you're in that place, whatever answer you get, that answer is going to come from your heart, from your intuition. That is the answer you need to get to. That is the answer you need to work with. And it's like, do not hesitate to make a move straight away, okay? The answer your mind will give you, it's based on limiting beliefs, it's based on the past, it's based on stuff that is not here at play anymore, okay? So that is not the answer to follow through. The answer to follow through is the answer that comes with your heart, okay? So let's pull here to finish this up because I feel like this was so long. I have no idea how long this is. Um, I wouldn't even say that it was like an hour or something, but... Let's see here, some timing. I guess someone needed to hear this. <laughs> All right. So we have here in a couple of months. So there's that like two, t um, two months time frame in divine timing because the universe is like all over this connection further in the future. And we also have full moon. So I actually feel like the full moon is, in, is happening in like two weeks or something. Um, I mean, again, I, I don't know when this video is going to be uploaded, so uh, kind of work with it. <laughs> but maybe the, the next full moon from whenever you're watching this could be significant, could be that birthday thing, for example. Um, but yeah. And also with this further in the future, I feel like this is like a confirmation of like, yo, this could actually lead to something really long term like really long term. I just saw 22, so you're clearly thinking of one another, <laughs> and uh, 22, 11, so um, definitely a lot of synchronicities here. And yeah, so we have that couple of months time frame. February, I do feel like it's going to be significant for this connection, even if it's just like internally, but yeah. So my little birdie, <laughs> this is so long. If you're still here, thank you for being here. I hope it resonated, hope it helped. Um, if you want to dive even deeper into this, there is going to be a link down below for a private reading. And um, to, yeah, I mean, don't forget to support me in any way you can, I really appreciate it. And you can do that by smashing that like button, subscribing if you haven't already. And that is it. I don't even know what I'm saying. So uh, if you wear a cusp, there is going to be a link below for a cusp survey. And that is it. So I love you very much. I wish you the freaking best. And I will see you next one. Bye-bye.